here's your wrestling news for January 11th, 2023. And we're starting off with WWE. And for decades, the idea of WWE ever being sold seemed like complete nonsense, with the belief being that Vince McMahon would be in the cold ground before a sale ever happened. Last week, McMahon returned to the promotion he founded with the promotion saying he was back to oversee a sale, and the former CEO did not wait long. As reported by several wrestling journalists, including Cassidy Haynes of Body Slam, WWE has been sold already. The buyers? A group that WWE has experience with, the Saudi Arabia Public Investment Fund. Not only has it been reported that the Saudis now own WWE, but it is also reported that the new owners will be taking the company private and off the stock market. WWE will go back to being private for the first time since the promotion became a publicly traded company in October of 1999. In fact, some have suggested that it is just a matter of time, possibly hours, before WWE's CEO steps aside and McMahon is back on top. Steven Mühlhausen from DAZN, another source who has proven themselves for years, added that it is currently unknown if McMahon will return as head of creative, but it is expected by some people. This story is also being reported by several prominent wrestling news websites, with Wrestling Inc., E-Wrestling News, SE Scoops, and Ringside News just some of the many reporting this monumental story. If so, there are serious questions as to what this means for Triple H, the current head of creative, who received rave reviews from fans for his tenure in the position that began last July. We should state that Raj Geary of Wrestling Inc. tweeted that his sources indicated that Triple H was firmly in as chief content officer, but followed up with news two hours later saying that his role may not be as firm as first thought. There are also questions as to what this will mean for Sami Zayn, one of WWE's most popular wrestlers today, who because of his Syrian descent has been prevented from appearing on any of WWE's Saudi shows. After a year of huge news stories, as for decades, the name McMahon has been synonymous with owning what would become the biggest promotion in the history of wrestling. From Jess McMahon's Capital Wrestling Corporation to Vincent J. McMahon's WWWF, all the way to Vince and Stephanie McMahon's WWE, this family has ruled over wrestling, but it is now the Saudis who are in charge. What do you make of this blockbuster story? Will the Saudi deal hurt WWE, or will the influx of money be a good thing in the long run? Let us know in the comments. WWE being sold to the Saudis is possibly the biggest news story in wrestling history, but it isn't the only monumental story around. After McMahon stepped down in June, a month before his official retirement, Stephanie McMahon was appointed co-CEO and chairwoman of the board, but her tenure has come to an end after less than eight months. In a shocking turn of events, Stephanie resigned from WWE this week and issued a public statement on the matter where she gave her side of things. In a very polished public relations statement, Stephanie addressed her departure and confirmed that her father has taken back his throne and is once again executive chair of the company's board of directors. The statement reads, Dear WWE Universe, About eight months ago I took a leave of absence and within a few weeks unexpectedly had the opportunity of a lifetime. I had the privilege to return as the co-CEO and chairwoman of the board of WWE. I cannot put into words how proud I am to have led what I consider to be the greatest company in the world, working alongside a remarkable leadership team and one of the strongest executives I have known in my co-CEO, Nick Khan. Our founder, Vince McMahon, has returned as executive chair and is leading an exciting process regarding strategic alternatives. And with Nick's leadership and Paul Triple H Levesque as chief content officer, I am confident WWE is in the perfect place to continue to provide unparalleled creative content and drive maximum value for shareholders. WWE is in such a strong position that I have decided to return to my leave and take it one step further with my official resignation. I look forward to cheering on WWE from the other side of the business where I started when I was a little kid as a pure fan. I will always remain dedicated to WWE. I truly love our company, our employees, our superstars, and our fans, and I am grateful to all of our partners. Thank you for everything. Then, now, forever, together, Steph. Following Stephanie's announcement, a WWE press release included comments from Vince, who was proud of his daughter's actions during unprecedented times. First, I'd like to express my full support for Stephanie's personal decision. I'll forever be grateful that she offered to step in during my absence, and I'm truly proud of the job she did co-leading WWE. Stephanie has always been the ultimate ambassador for our company, and her decades of contributions have left an immeasurable impact on our brand. 
According to WWE's press release, Nick Khan will serve as the company's sole CEO moving forward and was praised in the statement for his business acumen and mastery of the media industry by Vince McMahon. McMahon added that it is Khan who has played a huge role in WWE's reportedly record revenue and profitability, and that he looks forward to working with him as WWE explores strategic alternatives for the company's future. In the statement, Khan spoke about his former co-CEO, saying, Stephanie McMahon is a terrific executive and an even better person. It has been an honor to serve as co-CEO with her. She will only continue to succeed. I'm grateful to Vince McMahon and our board of directors for their ongoing support. I look forward to continuing to work closely with them and my WWE colleagues to ensure our company may thrive as the premier powerhouse in sports entertainment for years to come. Nick Khan joined WWE just over two years ago and is now the sole CEO of the entire company. And while his policies, such as taking responsibilities for the mass releases of 2020 through 2022 have irked people the wrong way, Khan is now officially in charge. With Stephanie's resignation, there has been a ton of confusion backstage, with many within WWE struggling to keep up with the various changes backstage. According to Fightful Select, several WWE talent have expressed uncertainty about what this decision actually means for Stephanie and Khan, who were both said to be well-liked during their tenure as co-CEOs. With Stephanie gone and her father back in charge, there is a lot of worry about the future, and one WWE talent heavily stressed their belief that there will be an uproar if Vince regains control of creative as well. It was just four days ago that Stephanie oversaw a meeting where she and other higher-ups discussed the company's future, McMahon's return, and the desire to sell the promotion. No talents were present, but Stephanie, alongside Triple H, Nick Khan, WWE President and Chief Financial Officer Frank Riddick, reassured everyone that from a TV side of things, nothing will be changing, though many remain skeptical. WWE can polish up Vince's return all they want, but in short, McMahon pulled a ruthless power play, holding the WWE hostage by threatening to hold up all media rights talks unless he was back on the board of directors. McMahon may be ruthless, but he is successful, and he has returned alongside former co-presidents Michelle Wilson and George Berrios, two people who will back him in upcoming moves. Vince McMahon is in charge of WWE yet again and will likely be more ruthless than ever before to remain in power, and that's something that Tony Khan is well aware of. Speaking on In The Zone, the AEW president was asked about McMahon's return to WWE, and Khan said he's paying attention to what is going on and is following it very closely. Khan's tone was far more serious than the last time he referenced McMahon's return, as he joked on Twitter just a few days ago that all his AEW stars were being extra nice to him, implying that they are worried about losing their jobs and going to work for WWE. One person who will be directly affected by WWE's new regime is Ronda Rousey, who, no matter who is in charge, will remain a focal point of the women's division. Rousey isn't known for keeping her opinions to herself and has now shared her two cents on the various happenings in WWE. When a fan asked if she will be at the upcoming February 3rd SmackDown, Rousey's response was interesting as she implied that nothing is for certain right now. If you haven't noticed, everything's a little in flux with WWE right now. I don't think anybody knows what's going on with anybody this week, let alone weeks from now. Rousey wouldn't confirm or deny that she will be at the February 3rd SmackDown, and wisely so, as if the past two weeks have shown, anything can truly happen in WWE. Rousey isn't the only one who's not quite sure what's going on right now, as the entire roster is said to be unsure of what the future holds. Fightful Select reports that many in WWE are confused about what's happening, which is said to be the same response from those working backstage. It was also noted how Stephanie McMahon used the word animosity during a meeting about Vince McMahon, but later changed that word to angst, though many wrestlers have picked up that Stephanie knows that McMahon's return will be seen as a problem backstage. Given that it was McMahon who made the call to release dozens of wrestlers during a global pandemic, animosity is sure to be expected. Stephanie McMahon had only gotten started in her role as co-CEO before her father usurped power from her, and these are truly unpredictable times for everyone working at WWE.